Okay, so productivity is a, a huge challenge to the UK, um, but it's also a challenge across the globe. So there's an increasingly widening gap between the productivity of the UK and those leading advanced economies across the globe. So for instance, to match the US's levels of productivity, um, the UK was having to increase productivity by around 30%, which is a huge amount uh, and a huge gap. So there's, we see there's a huge prize worth striving for to increase productivity uh, in terms of the UK economy. So one of the ways of doing that is to uh, improve workplace safety because there's a, a huge link between good workplace safety and good levels of productivity. So the costs overall to the UK uh, was £14.9 billion pounds in terms of new cases of workplace ill health and workplace injuries. Uh, in terms of working days lost in the UK due to workplace injuries and ill health was 31.2 million working days, which was a huge cost to the UK. There was 137 fatalities in the UK last year, which was a slight decrease compared to the previous year, but still a very high number. And most significantly, uh, workplace stress became the number one cause in the UK of work-related illness, overtaking musculoskeletal disorders. There's a direct correlation between low levels of productivity and poor workplace safety. So the benefits of good workplace health and safety includes low levels of accidents, incidents, uh, low levels of absenteeism, and improved staff morale. So the benefits of uh, better workplace health and safety um, can really have a big impact on improving productivity, reducing production delays, and improving profits for the company. Businesses can make the mistake of assuming that to improve productivity, you have to sacrifice other elements such as safety. But in fact, the opposite is true. Evidence suggests that good businesses that are, have a good positive health and safety culture and are well run are also very well, uh, well performing economically as well. Uh, well, recent studies show that it's an investment, a return on investment of around 1 to 10. So every pound that you spend, you get 10 pounds back, uh, whether that's um, reducing costs uh, or getting more out of people in the organisation and, and more production. Uh, so it's a, a no-brainer really when it comes to businesses that they should be investing in, in health and safety because it has a, a huge business benefit and shouldn't be seen as a cost that can be cut when uh, the bottom line needs to be improved. The government launched a Construction 2025 report, which is an ambitious target to improve uh, construction by 2025, reducing costs by 33% and reducing the time of uh, the speed of delivery by 50%. The danger with that is that organisations will try and do the same but quicker and that can result in increased accidents rather than improving the efficiency. Organisations that improve the efficiency of operations uh, and do that the right way can have a, a huge impact on productivity and workplace safety as well. So organisations are turning more and more to lean management techniques in order to streamline processes and maximise efficiency and it's the approach of uh, the organisation need to take need to be aware of rather than just trying to push workers to do more for less because that will just have a negative impact on workplace safety.